Now, about five years ago, this little beast by the name of WL Toys A959 started hopping into the RC car scene. And it really made a name for itself by being the best, the cheapest, and the funnest little durable 18th scale RC that money could buy. Well, with all the WL Toys that have come out since this little guy came out, and that are still coming out as of this month, does it still make sense to buy one of these? Well, if you have a couple dollars to your name, then you're in luck because you can probably find some of these going for dirt cheap now that they're pretty much old news. I mean, for $40 shipped, I couldn't pass this up. And, well, that's why I pretty much decided to pick one up. Plus, it makes a cool little workbench piece of art right here in the corner. Sorry, Kyosho. So whenever I see one of these out there in the wild, I'm always asking myself, you know, what am I missing out on? So we're gonna keep it stock for now, test it out, see my first impressions. I bought this used, so someone already probably bashed the heck out of this thing. The little front steering is not even aligned properly. But let's now go test it out. Then we'll come back, fix the little things up, make it a little bit better and test it out again. Everything seems to be in working order. Pretty damn slow though. Check it out, 17 miles per hour max speed so far. <sighs> All right, first impressions out here, stock power stock lipo everything like that 19 miles an hour not bad this little buggy is pretty impressive all right back from a full battery pack I'm actually surprised with how fast this thing was and really how maneuverable it was for such a small package and for how cheap it was you know gone are the days from back in the day where you'll buy a buggy entry level you know kyosho raider tamir grasshopper and you pretty much got like 10 miles per hour top now, could this use a little bit more power we'll come back to you later but stock wise this thing is pretty good to start Here's the thing, unless you buy the brushless version, you're gonna be stuck with these three. ESE, brush motor, and the little servo. The ESE is pretty garbage. It connects with the servo with the five wire system, unlike the modern three wire systems. And well, this is brushed. So if you wanna go brushless, you gotta replace the ESE as well. So after replacing a couple of these things, here's what we're gonna run with. Now it's a bit of a mess. We'll clean it up in a second and take it out for a spin at the local track. We got this Ghoul RC brushless system paired with the 32 pitch 17 tooth pinion. The original servo was replaced by this Eco Power digital micro metal gear servo with a custom 3D printed bracket. Of course, always using the Flysky receiver and radio combo. And we did get two lipos to test out. One is this Huvo 2S battery and the other is a 3S Gen Z. All right, now we just clean these pieces up and take it out for a spin. Now it's not as tidy as it could be, but I mean, check it out. All right, we're driving out now to the local track. Look how tiny it is. It fits in this little lunch bag right here. All right, made it to the track, but first we're gonna do some little speed runs in this parking lot over here. <laughs> way too fast. Oh my gosh, this thing is way too hard to control. <laughs> Seventeen already and that was barely half throttle. I don't think I'm gonna try this on 3S because it's already getting a bit squirrely. Half throttle, quarter throttle, 
just spins out. So I'm gonna try to get at least 20, 25 with 2S and then head on over to the track. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. 22 already. Oh my gosh, 26. Pinion's still looking good. We'll do one more. Uh-oh, already broke. Oh no, we didn't even get out to the track. I mean, it looks like it's moving. Didn't even get out to the track. Let's inspect this thing real quick. I have a feeling that we just stripped the freaking spur gear. Let's check it out. Oh no. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's completely flat now. Oh my gosh. Way too much power for this thing. We'll have to come back, bring it out again with a new spur because I for sure want to take it out on this sweet track with all these sweet jumps. You know, maybe that brushless system was way too much. 26 miles an hour though. We hit a couple of runs. We barely been here like 10 10 minutes we already beat our last brushed personal best with the stock power there you guys have it upgraded wl toys a959 couldn't hold up to all the power guys be sure to come back for part two we're for sure gonna try to test this out on 3s plus i'm getting some ideas this little 0.07 nitro engine is gonna be a perfect fit you guys are not gonna want to miss to see if that fits in here